I'm willing to bet it hasn't been too long since the last time you saw a headline claiming that AI is coming for your job. It's enough to make anyone in tech, or those who want to get into the field, feel a little uneasy about their future. But what's the reality behind these headlines? I work in machine learning at Amazon, and I've analyzed literally dozens of research papers on this topic. Today I want to share what's really happening with AI and tech careers, and give you an actionable framework for staying relevant no matter what happens. We'll talk about how AI is impacting the job market today what the future looks like in the next 5, 10, and 20 plus years, and how AI has changed the game for entry-level candidates. Stick around to the end because I'll share some really surprising things that could shake up all of this that I haven't really heard anyone else talk about yet. Despite all the alarming headlines, the current evidence shows that AI tools haven't led to significant displacement of skilled tech professionals. Instead, they're primarily augmenting human capabilities rather than replacing humans entirely. So let's look at what's really happening right now. GitHub Copilot and similar tools are handling repetitive coding tasks, but they're not replacing software engineers. Instead, they're freeing them up to focus on system design, architecture, and creative problem solving, or just allowing them to get more done in the same amount of time. AutoML platforms are automating routine data processing, but data scientists are still essential for interpreting results, designing experimentation, and ensuring ethical implementation. Research on human-AI collaboration consistently shows that while AI efficiently handles routine tasks like data cleaning and code generation, human judgment remains critical for complex decision-making. Basically, AI tools are enhancing productivity in technical fields, allowing professionals to focus on higher-level cognitive tasks. Employment analyses suggest that this automation is transforming roles rather than eliminating them. Studies indicate this shift requires adaptability and advanced expertise on the part of tech workers, but importantly, not fewer jobs overall. The key takeaway here is that so far, AI is changing how we work, not whether we work. But what about the future? In the next five years, AI will continue to automate routine tasks like debugging, data cleaning, and preliminary model selection. Now, I can already hear you thinking, if AI makes engineers more efficient, won't companies need fewer engineers? This question, in my opinion, reveals a fundamental misunderstanding of how value creation actually works. The limiting factor in tech has never been the number of engineers. It's been what those engineers can accomplish in a given time frame. I currently have at least a dozen high-value projects sitting in my backlog projects that could drive revenue, improve user experience, or solve critical business problems. But there are only so many hours in a day. If I can build 10 times more features, fix 10 times more bugs, or implement 10 times more improvements using AI, I become 10 times more valuable to my organization. Everything I build generates revenue or creates competitive advantage. Companies don't want fewer people doing the same amount of work so that they can make the same amount of money that they make today. They want more value creation so they can make more money. This is the fundamental flaw in replacement theory. It assumes companies have a fixed amount of work to be done, when in reality, the opportunity space is virtually infinite. So what about at the next 10 years? Looking at how roles will change in a practical way over the next decade, we'll see the emergence of more hybrid roles combining technical expertise with managerial and ethical responsibilities. Software and machine learning engineers will evolve towards oversight and strategic planning rather than routine execution. Data scientists will focus more on interpreting AI-generated insights, ensuring data quality, and maintaining ethical integrity of analytical processes. Data scientists will need to continue to guide the AI to ask the right questions and ensure the outputs match everything from statistical assumptions to cultural requirements. Now, what about in the next 20 years or longer? Looking two decades ahead is like trying to predict the weather a year in advance. We can see patterns, but precision is practically impossible. Here's what experts suggest. Many standardized repetitive tasks will likely be fully automated, but human oversight will remain essential for work requiring contextual understanding, creative problem solving, and ethical judgment. New roles that we're already seeing emerge today will become more common, so AI ethics specialists, human AI collaborative coaches, and system trainers, transforming our professional landscape rather than simply eliminating roles. But let's be honest for a moment, 20 years is an eternity in technological time. Nobody truly knows what our world will look like in 2045, and I'm suspicious of anyone claiming that they do. In a moment, I'll share what actually keeps me up at night about our careers and lives that far in the future. But first, everything I said about roles evolving sounds reassuring if you're already established in tech. But what if you're just starting out? If that's you, I won't sugarcoat it. The landscape is changing. According to the WEF Future of Jobs report in 2025, traditional entry-level positions are becoming less common as routine tasks get automated. Employers now expect newcomers to arrive with proficiency in advanced tools and cross-disciplinary skills from day one. Success will depend on three key factors. Your ability to master AI tools alongside fundamental skills, your capacity to learn continuously as technology evolves, and your talent for collaborating effectively with AI systems. So yes, it's going to be harder to break in. 
And no, that's not a reason to give up. There's a strange expectation I've noticed among newcomers that tech careers should be easily accessible. People seem shocked when they discover the depth of math required or when learning to code is hard. But the thing is, we're pursuing careers at the cutting edge of human innovation. These roles offer compensation, flexibility, and benefits unprecedented literally in human history. So of course they're difficult to obtain. The difficulty isn't just an obstacle. It's kind of a filter that makes these opportunities valuable. For those willing to put in the work, the potential upside remains enormous. The question is whether you'd rather face the challenge with the possibility of success or avoid the challenge and guarantee regret. If you're serious about breaking into tech or leveling up your skills, one of the biggest advantages you can give yourself is strong foundations in math, machine learning, and computer science. That's where Brilliant comes in. Brilliant makes these complex topics approachable and engaging through interactive visual lessons. Instead of passively watching videos, you'll solve bite-sized problems that help you truly understand the concepts, whether it's calculus, linear algebra, programming, or even how LLMs work. Brilliant is a really good option if you don't have a ton of time to study, but you still wanna make progress. You can learn on your phone during your commute or lunch break. I personally used Brilliant to strengthen my math foundations before I took a really challenging deep learning class in grad school, and it helped a lot. If you want to try Brilliant for yourself, they're offering my viewers a 30-day free trial plus 20% off an annual premium subscription. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get started. Speaking of continuous learning, while experts predict tech roles will become strategic and interdisciplinary, there's a critical question on my mind that I feel like is really being overlooked. Will we remain intellectually capable of handling these complex positions in our AI-augmented future? Studies show that when we delegate cognitive tasks to AI, it can lead to reduced engagement with complex problem solving, a phenomenon researchers call cognitive offloading. Think of it like physical fitness. When you stop training certain movements, those muscles atrophy. The same principle applies to your cognitive abilities. I noticed this in myself already. I am very quick to use AI to help with coding, writing, research, literally anything I can. When I get stuck on something that requires the level of effort I used to do constantly, not that long ago, I already feel a sense of resistance. And I'm 33. If I'm experiencing this after decades of building my mental muscles the old-fashioned way, imagine what's happening to students who are learning to code with these tools from day one. So here's what this means for your future. While everyone else is outsourcing their thinking, there's an unprecedented competitive advantage to be gained in maintaining your cognitive abilities. Yes, we have more learning resources than ever before, but paradoxically, we might be developing less willpower to use them effectively. I believe the professionals who will truly excel in an AI future won't be those who just use AI efficiently. They'll be those who maintain the discipline to keep exercising their own human intelligence alongside these powerful tools. Which actually brings me to my final point. All of this discussion assumes AI remains a tool under human control. But what if superintelligence, AI that vastly exceeds human capabilities in virtually every domain, emerges? Expert surveys suggest there's a significant probability that superintelligent systems could emerge within this century, with some estimates placing a 90% likelihood by 2075. If that happens, superintelligence would fundamentally alter not just employment, but the entire structure of human civilization. The risks of superintelligence are profound. If not properly aligned with human values, such systems could prioritize objectives that conflict with societal well-being, or it could just kill us all. But I actually have an optimistic twist on this. If AI is coming for us one way or another, then we better have fun now. We can spend our entire lives ruminating about hypothetical futures. What if my career becomes obsolete? What if I make the wrong investment? What if I'm not preparing enough for whatever potential catastrophe? But while we're lost in these hypotheticals, real life today, the only life that we're guaranteed is passing us by. Instead of excessive worry about potential superintelligence outcomes, I'm choosing to take that trip I've been postponing, deepen connections with the people I care about, experience analog joys like journaling with a pen and paper or painting on canvas, and find meaning and satisfaction in my work and life today. The future holds both challenges and possibilities beyond our imagination, but the present, this moment, is where life actually happens. Rather than letting uncertainty become paralysis, I'm using it as motivation to pursue meaningful experiences today. Because whether superintelligence emerges or not, I'll have lived fully in the time I was given. So what should you do? After everything we've discussed, here's some practical advice on what to do if you're worried about AI's impact on your tech career. First, master AI, don't fear it. The professionals who thrive won't be those who avoid AI tools. They'll be those who leverage them most effectively. Make AI integration a core competency, not an afterthought. Next, double down on what makes you human. As automation advances, your uniquely human capabilities become your greatest assets. 
cultivate emotional intelligence, creative problem solving, ethical reasoning, and strategic thinking. The skills AI, so far, struggles to replicate. Next, embrace constant evolution. The half-life of technical skills continues to shrink. Your ability to learn, unlearn, and relearn quickly will determine your longevity more than any specific technology you master today. Also, exercise your brain deliberately. Resist the temptation to offload all challenging thinking to AI. Make a conscious effort to solve problems independently before seeking AI assistance. The professionals who maintain their cognitive abilities alongside AI tools will hold a tremendous advantage. And finally, enjoy the process. This can all be scary and challenging, but it's also exciting and interesting. Live fully in the present while you prepare for the future. Because ultimately, a meaningful career or life isn't just about where you're going. It's about how much you appreciate each step along the way. We're living in crazy times. Let's see what happens.